Hey everyone, I'm trying to help an individual out. She was telling me she had a problem with her bobbin area here that popped out. I don't understand why that happened, but I'm going to try to figure it out. So what I did to see what I could figure out is I undid the screws to my face to my plate here and also for more space I took the footbed off you know that belongs right here sorry about my camera work Last time I had my husband helping me out, but he's not here tonight. So I'm on my own, y'all. Please bear with me. Okay, anyways. Okay, she said her bobbin thingamajig keep on coming out. And it won't spin. As far as I see... This is, this is as much spinning as it would do. Now let me try to take this out. Oh, which easily pops out. And there you have it. There's nothing inside here that's removable. So it's just this here. And you know, since I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning. Get some of this loose fibers out of here. You see? That could always cause a jam, so. Might as well get it on out now. And a trusty blow. Why is it do we always blow things to fix it? I don't know, but it seems to work. All right. So, I got that dusted out. There's nothing in here that moves around. This seems pretty much clean. So I'm going to pop it back in. Okay. So I popped it back in. And we're back to it only goes like this again. all it would do. So I'm going to put my face plate back on. And this has to fit properly in. And right now it is not. Okay, now I gotta get this faceplate to fit on here correctly. Oh, no. <laughs> silly me. No wonder why I wasn't fitting correctly. Y'all see the mistake I made? The darn thing is upside down. Ah, there we go. It's been a long day, y'all. I am so tired. So mistakes like that happens. Okay, so I'm putting the screw back in. Oh. Don't y'all love the tiny screws? In case y'all wondering how I'm doing this in recording, 
I just recruited my son to hold the camera for me. I know I said before that I was on my own. But this, I couldn't go on my own no further. Okay. So let me go ahead and screw this on. Yeah, I should have had one of these that came with your machine, by the way. It helps because sometimes these long ones, you just can't fit. Okay, that's tightened. Let me get this side. And that's tightened. Okay. Now I'm going to put my foot back on. There we go. And let's try the bobbin again to see does it work. Okay, remember as I told y'all before, it goes string side up. Then lay it down in like that. Take it around this little notch right here. That's kind of impossible to see, but you can feel it and you can tug on it. Put my guard back on. Okay. Let me grab a piece of material real quick to make sure this works. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch. Okay, hopefully you can see it. I'm going to turn, put on this side here, just do a, a straight stitch, see if it works. Okay, and sure enough it does. Now... The person that had the issue why her bobbin tray kept on popping out. I don't know why it kept on doing that. But this is the only way I could show you how to figure it out. Maybe your machine needs to go back to the store or somewhere to be fixed. I have no idea. But what I was showing, there's no way that it could constantly pop out. I mean, as far as I can see, I'm no expert. I'm, I'm just learning this as much as you are. I'm self-teaching my th myself on everything. So I hope I was able to be of some help. Okay, please let me know. Thumbs up if the video helped any. And I'll be back again soon, hopefully. Okay, I'll try. Meanwhile... Have fun sewing and continue on being creative. Thanks for watching.